So a lot of people, what they do is they think like, okay, I want a house, right? And they think like, well, if I had a house, then I could do the things I want to do. And then once I could do the things I want to do, I could be the person I want to be, right? But it's totally backwards. What's crazy is the people that have the stuff that you want, what they've done is they flipped that around. Instead of the have, do, be, they are be, do, have. Yeah, I think I believe in the law of attraction. I think that a lot of the world is like a magnet. Like when you have something you're looking for, God kind of presents it to you, right? Like for instance, I was looking for a guy that could do concrete at our, at our house. And then I realized we have a practice member that has a tremendous business that does concrete. I was like, oh, perfect, right? Or it could be like when I first wanted a partner, <laughs> I was in college and I was telling my roommate, like, here's all the things I was looking for in a partner. And Kayla popped into my life, like a couple days later, or a week later, whatever it was, but I wasn't ready for her. So it's kind of funny because I was like, I attracted it too fast. <laughs> I was like, oh, I, sh I, should have <laughs> I should have been ready for this. But yeah, absolutely. I think that when you are at a certain level that things feel that and people feel that, Right? I think there's no coincidences like when you are feeling good and you have the right mindset that other people that share that, they find you in the weird ways. So absolutely. So you mentioned you found your partner. Mm -hmm. So you believe that uh, law of attraction can help you find love? It can. I think that the law of attraction can help you find love. I think it could help you find whatever you want. Right? If you wanted to find love, if you wanted to find a career, a passion, physical things, whatever you want. I mean, it all depends on what you're putting out there, right? The magnet you have, what, what end are you, are you like going out with, right? I was just very clear on what I wanted in a partner. And so the things that I was telling my roommate, I was telling him, I was like, well, I want someone that is fun and they don't have to rely on me to be happy they be happy on their own. They have to be like a total sweetheart, like the sweetest person I know. They have to be incredibly caring. They have to be confident. They have to be beautiful. Like all these things that I was telling him and he showed up. It was funny because we've talked about before, like the clear intention of the elevated emotion. I felt like it was what it was like before, but I didn't know that framework yet, but it worked. So absolutely, I think you could find love. You can find whatever you want. That's amazing. So how would you say any person listening today could start using the law of attraction? So how could anyone today that's listening to this start using the law of attraction? It's kind of like, like for me, you know, I went to Catholic school growing up and our teachers would tell us like, you know, treat people the way you want to be treated, right? And you hear that and you wear like a little bracelet too about like, what would Jesus do? And you're always thinking about those things, right? As a kid. And then as I've gotten older, I've realized, I was like, well, not only do I wanna treat people the way I wanna be treated, I wanna treat everything the way I want to be treated back, kind of, if that makes sense. So what I would say is focus on the way you wanna be first, and then that will find you. So a lot of people, what they do is they think like, okay, I want a house, right? And they think like, well, if I had a house, then I could do the things I wanna do. And then once I could do the things I wanna do, I could be the person I wanna be, right? But it's totally backwards. What's crazy is the people that have the stuff that you want, what they've done is they flipped that around. Instead of the have, do, be, they are be, do, have. So, what I found is like when I got the things I wanted, I was the person I wanted to be first. That person is allowed to do the things that that person wants to do and is able to have the things that that person wants to have, right? So I'd say the way you could start doing this today is shift your perspective from the have, do, be 
to the B do have? That's lovely. So how do I know if I'm using the law of attraction properly? Well, I'd say that to know if you're really using this properly is to know, first of all, do you have any goals? Are they being met? Right? The thing is that it's hard to attract something if you don't know what it is you want to attract. Right? If you're saying like, oh, well, I want a great life. What does that mean? What does that look like to you? A great life to me might not look a great life to you. There are things that, depending on your values and your vision story, it could be different, right? So for me, what I see as something that's successful in my life would be if I give any person I interact with a little piece of value or knowledge that allows them to be better in their life, that's success to me. And people I connect with on a deeper level, if it's more, value, then that's even more success. So what I would say is the first thing you've got to really do is like set your values, set your intentions and your goals of like, what do I want? And then you start doing this formula to get those goals. And then that's kind of how you know, like, well, it's working if I'm reaching those or not, because I'm like attracting the right things to me to help me. And there's no problem with asking for help and collaboration because that's the way you speed everything up. Right. I sought out a lot of mentors that, you know, helped me like people have been on my podcast, like my dad, Glenn, Dr. Leah, Roy. There's like all these people, Tom, that have helped me and have mentored me. And, you know, it's allowed me to, to get so much better and to reach those goals. That's awesome. So on average, how long does it take to manifest something? So how long does it take to manifest something? So this is something that I talked about with one of the uh, people I was trying to help, one of our, our interns that's now in school. And she asked me this too. And I said, well, it depends on a lot of factors. Cause the thing is, is that like, if you're trying to say like, oh, I had to manifest like something that's like way far away. Like when I'm older this, like obviously that's not, not gonna like speed up time to be an older person, but what we talked about was kind of like if you're developing any skill. So it's kind of like, okay, well, I'm in the gym and I'm doing squats and I wanna be able to squat more. Well, the more that you work on your legs and all the supporting muscle groups and you know, remove the interference that's keeping you from that and you're doing the right nutrition and you're committed and you're consistent, you're gonna get it faster than someone that goes in once a week that doesn't eat well, that doesn't think right, all those things. So it's kind of the same thing. It's a, it's a skill that if you do it consistently, you'll get it faster. So that's really up to the person and the amount of effort they wanna put in. For me, I made a part of my morning routine. So I do this every single day. And there were certain things that took longer, right? Like I kind of said earlier, I found my partner like that once they decided what I wanted. But for my house, it took a long time. It took over a year, but it was amazing once I got it. Yeah, it, it took a long time, but there's no other word to describe it other than a miracle because it was, it was insane what happened. Is there one law of attraction technique that you use? The, the technique that I use, I think kind of goes back to the clear intention of the elevated motion, right? It's knowing what you want and then feeling what it's like once you have it. So you have to put yourself in the shoes of what it's gonna feel like. So for instance, say like you want a car, but you have to be specific. Like, okay, I want a black Mercedes and I want it to go really fast and I want it to have a red seat belt, a red stitching, and I want it to be under market value when I buy it. So I get a really good deal, like all these things, right? So that's very clear on like, okay, that's what I'm looking for. Right? And you can be as clear as you want or not. You could just say like, I want a black car or I want a black Mercedes or whatever. But then you have to feel what it's gonna feel like once you have that. So basically you're kind of like in your mind, you're like, okay, this is what I feel like. I'm sitting in the car, like, I feel so cool. Like, man, my red seatbelt sort of goes across me. I'm like, like, dang, I feel good. I feel like so happy. I feel confident, elated, right? That's what you have to feel before you have it. So if you're clear on what you want and you have that feeling, that's what I find is the most uh, successful. That totally makes sense. So is the law of attraction something that you have to learn or are we just inherently doing it every day? I think that 
it's something that most people do every day, but once you have the awareness to it and you can harness it, it's much more successful. So the thing is, is like for my wife, she's done this her whole life, whether she realized it or not. She's just so happy and like, okay, like life's wonderful. And, and that's the way she is. That amazing things happen to her because she's always in that elevated state. She always has the elevated emotion and then she just knows what she wants, right? She just says like, okay, I want these shoes. It's like whatever it is that she wants. It might be like for our house, it's like a certain type of flooring or cabinets. I want those cabinets, great. She has the elevated emotion and somehow we find the cabinets on sale. Or she said, I really want that type of fridge. And I'm like, great. And she's clear on what she wants and she's just like so happy and like elated about it. And, and she just does it naturally. And with the fridge, we found it for like half the price we should have. And this happens time and time again, but she just does it very naturally. But now that I've shown her like, look, you can do this all the time. She really does it all the time now. <laughs> so it's, it's time and time again, it's pretty amazing. It is pretty amazing to hear that your wife has such a high vibration. What does it mean to have a high or low vibration? Yeah, so what does it mean to have like a high or low vibration? It's kind of like, like imagine you watch a scary movie, right? And you watch it and you like come out of the theater and you're like, oh, I can't feel good, right? That's a low vibration, right? And some people might like scary movies, but for me, that's not my thing, right? I come out of it and I'm like, eh. And I don't even watch them much anymore. But that's how it would be. High vibration would be more like you hear an uplifting song, you watch a video where someone does something amazing or something motivational and you're like juiced. That's high vibration, right? So like those differences on like a response of like, I feel really good versus like, ah, uh, like, it was kind of, yeah, what's that off of me? That's, that's low vibration. So what are some tips that you have for someone looking to raise their vibration? So for people that want to raise their vibration, you know, people have a lot of different religious backgrounds and they know like different ways of prayer or meditation. You kind of have to find what works for you, right? The thing is that when you remove interference, right? And you get it adjusted, I find that that helps. I find that when you eat healthy foods, that helps, right? If you're eating, natural foods, like things that, that aren't like processed or found at a gas station, that's a great thing. When you exercise, that's a great thing. When you take things that, you know, hurt you or make you sick out of your life, that's a great way too. I personally do all those things. And I also like to pray and I like to be grateful and thank God for all the things that I have in my life. And, and I do that daily and people have different ways of doing that depending on their religious background and what they believe but i would say you know finding whatever faith you have and finding like what what connection you use within that whether it be prayer meditation or some sort of ritual that you do and using that and i feel like that's a really great way i think also connection with other people i think when you have like really deep connections with people or friends and you you spend time together and and it's fun and uplifting that's a great way too also just being outside where like people talk about like grounding right that's a great way as well definitely so what advice would you give to someone who's looking to study and learn more about law of attraction so people that are looking to learn more about law of attraction there's a lot of different books i've read and been a part of we read a book called uh, The Secret. We did that. And then the one I like that's my favorite one is um, Becoming Supernatural by Dr. Joe Dispenza. That's a great book for that. And he also talks about more of the scientific part of it, which I really liked because it, it gave me more understanding of what this was. There's a lot of authors out there that have done that, but I feel like he's done a very good job of that. So this is the Miracle Academy podcast with your host, Scotty Cooper. We talked about the law of attraction today. And let me know in the comments, like what things are you attracting? Don't forget to like and subscribe and to share. And uh, thank you so much for watching. And this is where miracles are expected. Bye.